The Element Selection Tool can be used to select multiple elements for modification or manipulation. The collection of selected elements is called a selection set. You can find the Element Selection Tool on the Home Ribbon tab in the Selection Ribbon group. In this lesson you will learn Element Selection, Selection Modes, Selection Methods, Deselect, and Select Previous. Start MicroStation Connect Edition and on the work page set the following Workspace Bentley Connect Training Work Set MS Basics Click Browse and open selectingelements.dgn from the backslash MS Basics backslash DGN backslash 06 Selecting Elements folder in the course data set. By default, the dataset is installed at C colon backslash Bentley Connect Training backslash worksets. Open the models dialog by data pointing on the models icon on the home tab in the primary group. Open the array elements model by double clicking it in the list. Select the element selection tool on the home tab in the selection group and set the following. Method, Individual. Mode, New. While holding the control key down, select individual elements by clicking on them. Note that the number of elements in the selection set is displayed in the status bar. Continue holding the control key down and data point on previous selected elements to deselect them. As you would expect, the number of elements displayed in the status bar decreases. Without using the control key, data point somewhere in the design where there is no element. This will clear the selection set. Without changing the tool settings, we drag a selection rectangle from left to right around some elements. All elements that are completely inside of the selection rectangle are selected. This is referred to as inside mode. Clear the selection set by data pointing anywhere in the view where there is no element. Next, we drag approximately the same size and location rectangle, this time from right to left. The elements that are only partly within the selection rectangle are also selected. This is called overlap mode. You can also toggle between an inside and an overlap selection by pressing the shift key while dragging. Clear the selection set. You can select and deselect elements in other ways beside individual or rectangle. To select elements by line, shape, or circle, we pick the desired method in the tool settings. Let's try these. First, select the shape method and select a few elements with a multi-sided shape. As with dragging the cursor to select elements, the direction you initially start drawing the shape will set whether the selection will be inside mode or overlap mode. Release the selection set. Next, we'll try the circle method. It is also sensitive to the direction you create the circle. Finally, the line method. This one is slightly different in that there is no inside mode for obvious reasons. Just draw a line across the elements you want to have in the selection set. Next we'll explore the Select Previous option. We select the circle and shape elements as shown, then immediately clear the selection set by data pointing in the view. Next we right mouse click and hold anywhere in the view to bring up the context menu. Select the Select Previous option. Note how the selection set we just released reappears ready for use. In this lesson you learned element selection, selection modes, selection methods, deselect, and select previous. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like.
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.